Hello from the World Economic Forum in Geneva. My name is Adrian Monk and tell us what the objectives are for the Great Reset. Welcome everybody and thank you Adrian. Let's first look at the impact COVID-19 probably has. We don't know yet the final outcome of this pandemic. There's a lot of uncertainty, but we know already that it will have a changing effect, changing on uh, economies, societies. It's not just to be compared with the economic crisis which we had uh, to pass through uh, 10 years ago. Um, the effect will be much similar to uh, world war and actually all countries in the world are affected. So if we look at the impact of course, uh, we first uh, uh, see uh, the impact on global economic growth, even in the most optimistic um, estimates of the IMF and OECD, um, we will be back to the output level of the end of 19, only at the, in the best case, only at the end of uh, 21. Then so look at the debt which we are uh, loading uh, on our shoulders. Uh, the world was already indebted at an amount of over 300% of GDP. Now um, the, the rescue programs of the governments represent another $10 trillion which um, will be added to our debt load and will have to be in some way uh, be repaid by future generations. I'm also, of course, um, looking at uh, the unemployment which, uh, and uh, the impact on livelihoods. We know um, many, many people, according to the ILO, about 50% of people in the world will be affected combined, um, taking the combined effects of uh, COVID-19 and uh, the fourth industrial revolution. And finally, not to forget uh, the figures. I mean, we, we look at the statistics, we see uh, 500, more than 500,000 people who have died. Um, just imagine the personal tragedy, which is behind all those cases. So we have to be very careful not just to look at the figures. Now, when we look at COVID, I think we should uh, distinguish between three phases. We have the three R's, restrain, which means to fight the virus, the hot phase, most countries are in today. Then we have recover, to go back to a kind of new normal. And finally, the reset, which means to define and to design the strategies um, which uh, should lead us uh, in the after corona phase. Um, what is the objective? What kind of world do we want to build? What do we know? What did we learn? I think the world um, which uh, we want to create with the Great Reset has to be much more resilient. It has to be because security people will demand for more security, um, physical security, health security. It will have to be more inclusive. Uh, we had already a big gap um, before the crisis started. This gap will be tremendously increased. So if we want to avoid uh, some kind of uh, social revolutions, and we have seen uh, the signs of anger on the streets uh, already the last weeks. Um, so we have to address um, this issue to create a stronger inclusiveness. And finally, um, more sustainable, because um, uh, we know now uh, that um, the next crisis is already waiting for us around the corner, and it is the climate crisis. Um, the World Economic Forum, by the way, has uh, warned the world uh, uh, related to the um, to possible pandemics since years, and actually three of the major organizations 
uh, now in the fight against the virus, like um, the Global Fund, um, the, um, uh, particularly also CEPI, uh, all those organizations were uh, created in, in Davos. So we know that the next crisis uh, may come on us and we have to be better prepared. Never waste a good crisis. Now, I believe that this is the mindset of our leaders who are looking to execute the Great Reset in which we will own nothing and we will be happy. So in this video, I will outline three things that's happening right now in our horizon that I believe will set up the Great Reset. But before we go ahead and do that, let me emphasize one important point. And that point being that the Great Reset is no longer a conspiracy theory. A conspiracy theory is something based on speculation and unverified facts and research. However, when the World Economic Forum has their global meeting last month and their main agenda is the Great Reset under the Davos agenda, well, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is no longer a conspiracy, but this is actually something that they're looking to execute. So let's talk about the three things happening right now that could potentially set up the Great Reset. And well, ironically, the game of chess also has three parts of it as well. There's the first phase known as the opening where pieces are developed and positioned in the middle of the board. There's the second phase of the game known as the middle game where, well, the weaknesses of your opponent are first identified and then you formulate a game plan of your own. And last but not least, of course, we have the end game where you slowly close in on your opponent, taking them apart piece by piece. 